Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. So, if you've been watching a lot of my anime rants and just my anime related videos and whatnot, then you will know that as much as I am invested in anime, being called the Anime Man and whatnot, I do also like other formats of Japanese literacy, including manga and most especially light novels. Now, a lot of people who start off in Japanese literacy usually start off with things like manga and then progressively move on to things like anime. But I've seen that a lot of people aren't as well versed in light novels as they are in things like anime and manga. So to all those people who want to kind of get started on light novels but don't really know how, then I'm going to be giving you my, I guess, version of a beginner's guide to light novels. Now first of all, let's cover the definition. What exactly is a light novel? The easiest way to define a light novel is like the halfway point between a manga and an actual novel. It's like if someone took a manga and then novelized it. Compared to regular Japanese novels, light novels are a little bit more manga-centered and they're more catered towards the same audience that enjoys different kinds of manga rather than just straight-up novels. Don't get me wrong, Japanese novels are just as fucking good, but if you do enjoy the kind of manga-esque style or the anime-esque style and stories, then light novels are really for you. Now, it is a typical trope that a lot of people see that most light novels are based around a certain set of genres. Namely genres like ecchi, harem, sci-fi, fantasy, action, school life. Any combination of those six genres pretty much covers like 80% of light novels today. But unfortunately there are a lot of people who just miss the wide variety of light novels that are available out there and there are some light novels which turned out to be amazing anime but you never suspect to be an actual light novel, or at least doesn't fall into the six genres that I mentioned earlier. So today I'm going to give you guys a few series to kind of get started on the light novel trend and then from there you guys can find your own. And by that I mean I'm just going to list off some of my favorite light novel series ever, so prepare. Now I get a lot of questions asking what's the first light novel series I should read? And I answer it in the same way when people ask me what kind of manga I should read or what kind of anime I should watch, and that is whatever you're into. Depending on what kind of genres and what kind of stories you enjoy, the, the answer is obviously going to change. For me though, the first light novel series I ever read, which also turned out to be m what most people in the light novel community say is one of the best light novel series ever made, and that is Boogie Pop Phantom. The Japanese title is Boogie Pop wa Waranai. This also got an anime adaptation, which by the way, is brilliant. Now, Boogie Pop Phantom doesn't fall into the six genres of typical light novels that I previously mentioned. In fact, Boogie Pop Phantom is a lot more of a darker tone compared to some of the more modern light novels out there. This light novel series was made almost a decade ago and is still considered to be one of the greatest light novel series ever written. Now, the genres of Boogie Pop Phantom include mystery, horror, sci-fi, and it's kind of like series like Durarara and movies like Pulp Fiction where it's the same story but it's told from multiple perspectives which seem all separate at first but then kind of all loop back together into this one connecting story. The feeling of ambiguity in Boogie Pop Phantom is very gripping I would say. It, it kind of gives you a different sense of horror rather than jump scares and gore. But of course not everybody enjoys their mystery horror sci-fi stuff. You know some people do enjoy just just straight up school life stuff with a little bit of sci-fi and for those kinds of people I would suggest the melancholy of Suzumiya Haruhi. Now while Boogie Pop Phantom is known critically to be be the best light novel series ever made. Commercially speaking, it's Suzumiya Haruhi. Now some of you guys might have watched the anime and not been a huge fan of it, and that is because the way that the original Melancholy Suzumiya Haruhi series is written is very specific to light novels. That's another element of light novels I believe which is worth giving a go, is that like the way that the stories are written and the way that the plot progression happens is very different to manga and anime. And the Melancholy of Suzumiya Haruhi I believe is one of those series that was just written for light novels. Especially the later arcs when things like time travel and like the Groundhog's Day effect comes into play which didn't really translate well in anime. It translates really really well in light novel series. Now the genres include sci-fi, school life, slice of life, action, fantasy, mystery. There are a lot of genres that are intertwined especially between different arcs. But the writing by the way is brilliant and the character development and the character progression and the plot progression is works 
very well for light novels, so I definitely recommend this one. Now, the two light novel series I gave out have been turned into anime, but like a lot of manga series out there, there are a lot of light novel series out there that haven't been adapted into anything else, and unfortunately, some of them out there are really, really freaking good. In my opinion, one of the best light novel exclusives that haven't been turned into an anime yet is Utsuro no Hakuto Zero no Maria. When I first picked this up at a bookstore in Japan, I wasn't quite too sure as to how this so story would play out, but then when I read this first novel, I was blown away. In my humble opinion, Utsuro no Hakuto Zero no Maria has some of the best time travel based stories that I have ever read. It's gripping, it's dark, it's mystery, and so if you really like your mystery and that kind of stuff, then you need to read this. And if you, even if you're not too fond of mystery and stuff like that, and you but you want to say, you know, get into becoming an author, you know, writing a story, then I definitely recommend you read this because this story is brilliant. Speaking of brilliant stories and writing, you probably saw this coming if you're a fan of my videos. Uh, the Monogatari series is probably the best novel series I've just read in general. Now you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Monogatari series because I'm a huge fan of the author Nishio Ishin, who if you don't know also wrote the original story to manga such as Medica Box and I've also done other novel series or I guess light novel series that have also been turned into an anime such as Katanagatari. All of these by the way are brilliant but the Monogatari series is really stands out in Nishio Ishin's works. And the anime adaptation is one of the best anime adaptations of a light novel series that I have seen. Nishio Shin has a very distinct writing style that I haven't really seen any other novelist kind of cover. I mean, even if you look inside of his novels, you'll see that the way that the paragraphs are written is also very different. So I guess if you want to read like a different kind of light novel, then the Monogatari series is definitely one to check out. Now just quickly, I'll name off a few more light novel series that I think you should definitely check out. Denpa Tekina Kanojo is another one, kind of a mystery, slightly similar to Boogie Fault Phantom, but the characters are very, very different and the plot progression is kind of nice. Kamisama Game is another light novel exclusive, which is another school life kind of fantasy series, but the characters are very unique and the story is very mystery based and like has a few plot twists in it which I really really enjoyed. Although the anime adaptation was kind of mixed, I personally really enjoyed it, but the light novel series for Seito Kai no Ichizon series is absolutely fucking hilarious. One of the funniest light novel series I have ever read. I, in fact, I actually have all of them in the series, so definitely check that one out. If you enjoyed any of Narita Ryogo's works, such as Durara and Bakano, then a light novel exclusive from him called Vamp is actually a really really good one. Again, if you enjoyed series like Bakano and Durara, you'll absolutely fucking love Vamp because I sure did. As of right now, one of the most critically and commercially successful light novel series is Yahari Ore no Seishun Nabukon Yo Machigatte Iru or My Ro Teen Romantic Comedy Snafu. The author, I think, is one of the smartest authors I've ever read, and this guy's works is absolutely fucking brilliant. The anime adaptation for both series is also fucking brilliant, but you need to check out the original light novel series if you enjoyed the anime. Now, these are just some light novel series that I recommend to you guys, but again, there are heaps of light novel series out there that I definitely recommend. But if I recommended all of the light novel series that I want you guys to read, we'll be here for like an hour. Now, the next question you might be asking yourself is, Joey, where do you get your light novels? Now, all of my light novels that I have here on my shelf are written in Japanese. I bought all of these from Japan and in secondhand books stores such as Book Off. But I also go to first-hand bookstores like Kinokuniya, where Kinokuniya is a little bit more, I'm pretty sure they have one in Australia, and I'm sure a lot of Western countries also have them as well. If not, I suggest going on to maybe online stores like Amazon or eBay, because I'm pretty sure some people will be selling them on there. Now keep in mind, I'm not too sure whether all of the series that I laid out in today's video have been translated into English. There might be some series there that haven't been translated in, into English just yet. But I do know for a fact that a lot of light novel series out there have been translated into English, so definitely recommend you go check out some of their English translated ones if you can't read Japanese. Also, my suggestion is if you enjoyed a particular anime series that you saw that was based off a light novel series, then maybe go and read the light novel series of that. Sure, you may already know the story to it, but a lot of light novel adaptations actually miss out on a lot of details and sometimes even change the story. For example, Sakura no Petto na Kanojo had a completely different ending in the light original light novel series than it did 
in the anime adaptation. So in my opinion, it's kind of fun to watch the anime and then read the original light novel to kind of see the differences or even the small details that you might have missed out on from the anime adaptation or from the light novel series. But I mean, I can ramble on about how good light novel series is, but if you don't enjoy reading, then there's really not much point because in the end, no matter how much light novel series are kind of like anime or manga, it is still a book, it's still reading, it's still a novel. So I only really recommend light novel series to people who enjoy reading novels and actually enjoy reading. If you don't enjoy reading and you rather see pretty pictures and pretty animations, then I suggest manga and anime instead. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you're one of the people who actually wanted to give light novel series a go. And if you already are into light novel series, then give me some of your favourite light novel series out there in the comments below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. As always, like and favourite if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more anime banner and I'll see you guys next video of whatever I make. Keep watching anime. Ciao!